If you guys are looking for any cheap and reliable Foot21 coins, make sure to head over to u7buy.com. They sell the cheapest coins and also sell players off their website. So make sure to use code MUZ for 5% off at checkout. Link in the description. Yes lads and welcome back to a brand new Team League prediction. Bit of an interesting one this week because obviously club football is not on. It is international weekend. I usually struggle to do these Team League predictions on international weekends because I usually get my information from Footbin and it's quite a lot more, well it's a lot harder to find the uh, the information and stuff. So apologies about the backdrop. I know it's like the most boring backdrop of all time right now. I've just taken down my cards finally. I'm going to be revamping, like repainting it and stuff so it'll look a lot better. Anyway boys, if you guys could drop a like, that would be appreciated. Drop some if you're new. Let's jump into this team of the week anyway. There's some decent team of the weeks um, this week. Decent players in it anyway. So we start off with Sommer. Didn't keep a clean sheet. It was a one-all game. Uh, but he did save two penalties, which is outrageous for a goalkeeper. So most likely Sommer will get in. And uh, he's not going to be a very nice one to pack, I can't lie. Getting from foot champs. I mean, Icon SPCs. He's going to be very good for Icon SPCs. But other than that, you don't really want a Sommer. He's just a troll, isn't he? Um, into the next one. By the way, I, I want to quickly address. I couldn't find many defenders at all. Um, so there will be more defenders. I just couldn't find any because... There weren't many clean sheets this week, and even if there was a clean sheet, they like the defenders didn't get involved at all, really. So uh, this guy was one defender that did get involved. Um, he played tonight. He got one assist and a clean sheet, which is pretty pretty good for a defender. Does does play for West Ham as well, which is interesting. He actually looks like an alright little card, to be fair. Not a tidy little card. Um, it's from Czech Republic, um, so not a bad little right back. Uh, jumping into the next one, we have got um, Gini Wijnaldum for the Netherlands. Um, it could also be Dumfries. Dumfries got two assists from right back. Uh, and there was another player, I can't really remember, but he's less likely to get it. Uh, but Wijnaldum got two goals, which is nice. So if Wijnaldum gets in, what a card. Um, Vijn I've not tried him out this FIFA, but wow, uh, he looks very, very good. Would fit my playstyle well as well. I like a nippy centre mid, um, like a Modric or a Wijnaldum would be very good. Um, next up, we have got... N'Golo Kante, who did get one goal and also kept a clean sheet um, against Portugal. Um, the man's on fire right now. I really hope he uh, reward him, get that plus one upgrade from an 88 to an 89. And uh, if you can get him at a red pick, I mean, and get almost an end game card. What a card. Um, tr I've tried Kante this year and I didn't like his passing. That's one thing. I hope if he does get an inform, they do upgrade his passing. Because um, he's passing, he's dodgy. So if you do get him, I'd maybe recommend a passing chem star because he's passing. He's quite dodgy for a centre mid. Um, next up, we have got a one to watch. We've got a, quite a few one to watches this week, actually. Potential one to watches, anyway. Um, Hakimi from right mid did get one goal, one assist, which is very nice. Um, has really bad weak foot and skill moves, though. That's what kills the card. If he had good weak foot and skill moves, it'd be an alright card. But yeah, it kills his card, really. Um, so not really too great. Um, next up, we've got Vidal. Um, who actually looks like a very tidy card. Um, if you do put like maybe a shadow on, like fully boost his pace, or maybe a catalyst, or probably an engine actually, uh, just get his pace up a little bit into the 70s, and wow, what a card. Uh, but yeah, he got two goals from centre mid, which is really, really good for a centre mid, obviously, um, for Chile. So Vidal most likely will get in, and uh, obviously he's a one to watch as well, so his one to watch will go up to an 85 from an 83. So tidy little card for uh, Vidal right there. Okay, right, st step it back, boys. Right, this guy was one of my favourite cards last FIFA. Um, I've tried him this FIFA, and he's not great. He's not horrendous, but he's not great. I think it's because he's a little bit, a little bit too slow. He's got like 82 pace, maybe 83 pace at right mid. Um, but if this guy does get in, he, he was playing Cam for Algeria as well. If there's ever a red pick I want, it is Mara's. Um, God, what a card. Because I like left stick dribbling a lot. I like nippy players, agile players. I mean, Mara's fits my play style a lot. And obviously, five-star skillers this year needed more than ever. So, Mara's would be outrageous. Did get one goal, one assist. I didn't even address that. Uh, which is, it's all right. It's not guaranteed to get in, but... With the way a lot of players have played this weekend, there's not really many stand. Well, I don't think there is a standout actually. Thinking about it, there's and what I mean by a standout is like if you score a hat trick, you're going to get in pretty much. If you score four goals, you're going to get in. But there's a lot of one goal, one assisters, as you guys will see. So he would be very nice. Another one goal, assi uh, one assist. We have got Sadio Mane, um, who would go to a 91. Um, I don't really need to comment on this guy. Absolute B. Very, very good card. Um, hopefully EA reward him. I think EA will. 
boost his team the week. As I said last week, they did boost last week's as well. Um, I mentioned it in last week's video. Um, Black Friday is coming up very soon, and they're going to want to sell packs, so they're going to boost their team the week, most likely. Um, so, a couple of players that might have scored one goal may get in. As you guys will see, oh, it's not the next one. It's, it might be the next one after this. Uh, but Werner did play left wing for Germany. Um... So, and he got two goals from left wing. It could also be Goretzka, very likely Goretzka as well, to be fair. It's a bit of a pick a mix. It could be Werner or Goretzka. Goretzka will be insane too. I think I might be wrong. I I'd be guessing what Goretzka did. I think he got a couple of assists or something, but I'd be guessing. But he definitely did some good goal involvement. Uh, but Werner, two goals from left wing. Um, not a huge fan of him on FIFA, really not. Three star skill moves that he's dribbling is a little bit dodgy. So, uh, But he's a Chelsea player, so... I'd take him as a red pick. I have built a Chelsea team right now, so he'd fit in nicely. Um, here we go. This is the guy that I was on about. Uh, he only got one goal tonight against England. His one goal was a good goal. It was a, a free kick, to be fair. So if I want to give it him because he scored a good free kick, I mean, you can do. Um, Lukaku got one assist, so there could maybe be nice for Lukaku. And also Tielemans scored, uh, so they could give it Tielemans as well. So... There's three possibilities for Belgium. If Mertens does get in, though, I don't know if he'll go to an 88. I'm not too sure because uh, he does have a rule breaker out that's an 87. So I'm not too sure if that gets boosted to an 88. I'm not too sure. Uh, but either way, if Mertens gets in, very nice card. Um, next up, this game was literally just finished as I'm recording this. He did score two goals. Actually scored last second, actually. It, but the, the problem is, is um, both of them were penalties. So um, whether or not they'll gift him it, I think they might, like... Like I said, because there's not many standouts, I think they'll probably give a lot of these two goalers, one goal, one assisters. Um, but two goals from centre mid, uh, from Cam even, um, and man of the match. An alright little card, he's on, he's on decent form, Ericsson, so fair play to him, fair play. Um, next up we've got uh, Batshuayi. See, this is where it gets confusing, and this is why I said at the start of the video I'm a little bit confused with international, um, how they do the international break team of the weeks. Because there's been two lots of games. And um, the previous game, obviously not tonight against England, but the previous game, Batshuayi did score two goals. So if they're going to count both the games, which I'm hoping they do, um, yeah, Batshuayi got two goals and uh, could potentially get in. And I don't know why I've kept, kept him at Chelsea. Because he's at Crystal Palace, my bad. Um, next up, we've got another goalkeeper. I should have put this guy at the start. Apologies, they're all mixed up again because of the weird information. Um, we messed it up a little bit. Rodak got a man of the match and a clean sheet. For Slovakia or Slovenia. I think that's Slovakia. I'm not too sure. I can't really tell the difference between the flags. Uh, this guy got one goal and assist um, for Gabon. Fair play. Uh, nice little link to Obama. Obama who? Um, next up we've got Kowasi. You've got two goals. Bit of a quick player. And then this is going to be the final one. Um, Abubakar. A, a bit of a throwback. FIFA beast. This guy got two goals for Cameroon. Cameroon. So um, anyway boys. Let me know your thoughts on this team of the week. Again I've not... Um, found many defenders, apologies, I think I put like maybe one or two defenders in, but um, overall, I mean, attackers wise, as you guys can see, they're all like two goals, one goal, one assisters, um, so let's see, I just hope Mahrez gets in and I hope I get him from red picks, um, let me know how your weekend league went as well boys, um, I've stopped off at goal three early this week, um, because the gameplay is just terrible, um, but anyway boys, if you could drop a like, I'd appreciate that, drop a sub if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one, peace.